wasn't my best moment. Wasn't his best moment. Was it one that he had thought about and that's how he wanted to play the hole? Come on. I mean, really, his answer was a little silly. But the reaction afterwards was ridiculous. Here was a guy out of a tournament who lost his temper. Case closed. He didn't destroy the sport. He didn't destroy one of the great golfing careers in history. What did he do that damaged the game for any real length of time? Did he impact the championship? No. If he had been in contention and did that, he would have had to be disqualified because there would have been a real problem with what went on. He wasn't in contention. The only reason anybody paid attention to him at all was because he's Phil. Otherwise, someone else had done that. It would have been, oh, look what he's done. Oh, disqualify him. Get it over with. Boom. And goodbye. They didn't disqualify Phil because he's Phil. <laughs> would they have disqualified us to play him? You know what? They probably would have. But there would have been no outcry for it because it was Phil Mickelson. But his answer compounded it because it made it seem like, oh, I've been waiting to do this to the USJ for all these years. Nonsense. I'm not saying he hadn't wanted to do something in protest to them at some point through the years. But let's be honest. At that moment, as it happened, he was a guy running after a bad shot in anger. That's what it was. I've had enough of this. I'm done. Boom. Did he wish he didn't do it? Yes. He did it. He got his two-stroke penalty. We move on. It's not the end of the world. And this is where you always laugh at golf. The same people who have a problem if somebody in a gallery yells at a player, hey, these people pay their money. Once in a while, they're going to yell something. They do it at baseball players all the time. They do it in other sports all the time. This idea that you are in this cathedral when you are playing golf, that it's not only about competition or skill or anything like that, it's also about this higher level of being. Nonsense. It's a sport. And at the very best, it's a competition played by guys who have a high skill in their game. And we like watching it because it's exciting. And also to see guys play that at that level against that kind of competition and the course which becomes very much competition. But the idea that, you know, the world changes and, you know, Western civilization as we know it is damaged by that movement. I mean, this, people actually stating that Phil had ruined his career in a tournament where he was completely out of it on a Saturday afternoon when he took a two-stroke penalty, he ruined his career? I mean, maybe the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Do I think he should have been disqualified? No. Did I have a problem with him on Sunday? One putting in the green and putting his arms in the air? The only reason you saw it was because it was Phil. It wasn't Phil, you wouldn't even have seen it. That was him having a little fun. Who cares? He likes being in the spotlight. He always has. He likes being the center of attention, even in a tournament where he's way out of it. And let's be honest. You got everybody today running who, the people who need the USGA are the only people who run and apologize for them. People who do business with them, people who need them, trying to apologize for them, they screwed up. And what guys will tell me who are part of the sport, on a daily basis. I'm not around the sport enough to talk about the USGA. But people I talk to say, hey, the USGA always screws it up. Nobody has any real regard for those guys. They walk around in their funny hats and decide, well, man, man, you know, very self-important. Hey, nonsense. You know what? People don't go there to see the pin placement. They go there to see the golfers. Okay? To see the course, yes. And to see the competition, yes. But you know what? Sometimes you can overdo it. They overdid it. They screwed it up. Then they tried to fix it on Sunday. They messed up. Case closed. They did a terrible job. And Phil made a mistake. He did something in anger. He didn't admit to that. Afterwards, he said, hey, I always planned this. This was the best way to play it all. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even the best way to play that hole if that was your decision making. So 
we know we didn't do that. He got angry. So what? How many people have gotten angry on a golf course? Did he throw a club and hit a kid? No. Did he do something that impacted somebody else? No. What he did was show some anger and frustration during a time when the course was out of control. So I think the penalty he received was apropos. I think the criticism he re received was utterly ridiculous. And I think anybody who's trying to bend over today and apologize for the USGA, get a grip. They had a horrible weekend. When a band